got today's reading for you. Uh, Devo was great. Uh, we finished up Genesis chapters 49 and 50, uh, and then we also read Psalm chapter 8, and then we were hanging out in Luke chapter 20. Now, we've been in Luke for a while, so I'm just going to stick in Luke chapter 20. And now, in Luke chapter 20, uh, now Jesus is being questioned by um, uh, Pharisees and all these people. They're trying to catch Jesus in an act of heresy or something. They're trying to blast, they're trying to find a way to arrest Jesus. And so we can pick up in Luke chapter 20, verse 20. I'm going to read this to you, and, and then we're going to talk a little. It says this, Keeping a close watch on him, they sent spies who pretended to be sincere. They hoped to catch Jesus in something he said, so that he might, they might hand him over to the power and authority of the government. So the spies questioned him, Teacher, we know that you speak and teach what is right, and that you do not show partiality, but teach the way of God in accordance with truth. Is it right for us to pay taxes to Caesar or not? He saw through their duplicity and said to them, Show me a denarius, whose image and inscription are on it. Caesar's, they replied. He said to them, Then give to Caesar what is Caesar's, and give to God what is God's. Now, why, why do I want to talk about this today? Here it is right here. A lot of time... Uh, first off, these people, these teachers of the law and Pharisees, uh, they wanted to, to catch Jesus in a uh, what they would call a doctrinal error. And how often does that happen? Because they wanted to discredit everything else that he was doing. Like as if you could discredit uh, Jesus' evidence and miracles. Uh, you know, it, it's like if you don't believe me, believe the work. You know, with, with people being healed from all kinds of stuff, raised from the dead. Like, you're going to discredit Jesus um, because of, uh, of, of something that you think he said wrong. And you see, Jesus could see through it. He knew that they were gunning for him. And this wasn't the first time that people gunned for him. So he took, he says, taxes, really? You want to talk about taxes? You know, politics, really? I don't think that's something we should be talking about as far as it being a dividing thing in the church. But that's another thing. Uh, but but Jesus says, give me a denarius. He says, whose inscription is on this? They said Caesar's. He says, give to Caesar what is Caesar's and give to God what is God's. Now, a lot of people, they go, yeah, we'll pay your taxes, you know, we'll just submit to the government. And, and we're instructed in Titus that we are to, to, to submit to the authority that we're under, including government. But at the same time, he says, give to God what is God's. The higher thing is giving to God what is God's. Taxes are money. But God wants spiritual worship in truth and in spirit from us. God wants our self dedicated wholly to him. God wants us to be abandoned completely to him. And when we do that, we've given God what is God's and what, what belongs to the government. Well, those things no longer even matter. There was a time when Jesus had to pay a temple tax. And because he was given to God what was God's and as a sign of who he was, um, he didn't have a coin, so what's he do? Go catch a fish, pull the coin out of the fish. How did he know this? Because God was taking care of him, because he did the first things first. Folks, first thing, give to God what is God's. The rest all falls in alignment. We do need to make sure that we participate in, uh, in uh, being law-abiding citizens, but ultimately, that's all going to flow out of being a person or a man that knows God and is giving him our first fruits. And, and knowing, uh, being wise in what God is doing uh, to eliminate all of the other stuff, folks. We're not about disseminating good and evil. We're about living good. We're about understanding good. We're about loving Jesus and living the way that he's called us to. He's called us to take up our cross and follow him. He's called us to die to ourselves so that we might live in him. And so give to God what is God's. Everything else is trivial compared to just giving God what is his, what he purchased with his blood, and that's our life. God, I praise you and thank you, love you and adore you. Thank you, Lord, for your boldness, Lord, that you, uh, you won't be trapped and you, won't be, uh, you just won't be uh, swayed, Lord God, in any way, Lord, but that you are consistent and that we worship a consistent God. So, Lord, we worship you and praise you, wholly dedicate ourselves to you. In Jesus' name.
Amen. Now go and be who Christ has made you to be.